So far, we have not received a response. Phoenix police tell us they're collecting DNA swabs from employees at Hacienda Healthcare as part of this investigation. But there are privacy laws to prevent police from collecting DNA from just anyone. Team 12's Joe Dana is verifying for us what it takes for police to be able to force someone to provide DNA. Joe? Phoenix police say they're collecting buckle swabs from a wide scope of people, but just how wide that net is could impact the integrity of the investigation. It seems like a no brainer. Collect DNA evidence from all male employees who could have possibly come into contact with the victim at the health care facility during the window of time she became pregnant. But police must get a court order first. Phoenix Police Sergeant Tommy Thompson confirming they've done just that. We're not going to point out who we've obtained DNA from or who we intend to get DNA from. Uh, but suffice it to say, there it is uh, a large number of individuals. 12 News can confirm that police can force you to provide a buckle swab for DNA testing as long as a judge has signed off on it. If you refuse, you could be held in contempt of court and go to jail. It only increases the amount of scrutiny that they would be under. Criminal defense attorney Michael Black says the court order obtained by Phoenix police likely shows the names of male employees who could have had access to the victim's room. There exists a document that was presented to the judge. They have to come up with particularized facts. However, if the order is too broad, that could come back to haunt prosecutors down the road. Even a suspect linked by DNA evidence could theoretically put up a defense that his constitutional rights were violated. There is a possibility that that individual could have that evidence suppressed and that would block the entire link between the child and whoever impregnated the woman. It's why every move by police and prosecutors must be made on solid legal footing. Joe Dana, 12 News. If you have any tips about this case, you can email your information to our iTeam tip line, connect at 12news.com. You can also reach out to us on Facebook and on Twitter.